various sources tell us about strange happenings deep underground near Sudbury, Ontario. Could it be a secret underground government facility? Ah, uh, no secrets, just science. Welcome to the Sudbury Neutrino Observatory, Snow Lab for short. It's here where groundbreaking astroparticle physics research is happening right under our nose and feet. Most of the experiments here at Snow Lab are located deep in the Earth's crust, over two kilometers down. Away from cosmic radiation, the very sensitive experiments are looking to understand more about our Sun and the universe. Following the success of Snow, the experiment that helped prove neutrinos have mass, solving the solar neutrino problem, Snow Lab was formed. The available space for experiments has increased dramatically allowing many more projects to take advantage of the unique location. With the expansion, Snow Lab will reach 5,000 square meters of clean lab space for experiments and supporting infrastructure. Many of these experiments are trying to learn more about the tiny particles that we can't see or feel. They're called WIMPs, Weakly Interacting Massive Particles. Scientists think they may be the best candidate for dark matter, the mysterious stuff that makes up a large portion of the mass in our universe. Picasso is one of these experiments, and it's looking for one type of WIMP called neutralinos, a particle that scientists predict might exist. Inside the water shield, Picasso's detectors contain tiny droplets of superheated liquid suspended in a gel-like material. If a WIMP interacts with molecules in the unstable liquid, the droplet explodes into a larger gas bubble creating a small vibration that is then analyzed to learn more about the WIMP. Also on the search for WIMPs are the deep and clean experiments. These are located in one of the newest areas of the lab. Deep and Mini Clean will use liquid noble gases to search for WIMPs. A WIMP will occasionally interact with the molecules in the noble gas and create a small flash of light that is collected by super sensitive light detectors. With a similar design, the original SNOW experiment used a heavy water detector to solve a long-standing mystery in the physics world. The Sun didn't seem to be creating as many neutrinos as predicted. SNOW detected the missing neutrinos and solved the solar neutrino problem. SNOW Plus, an experiment using the SNOW detector, will be able to detect even lower energy neutrinos. It will use a special liquid scintillator instead of the heavy water. This change will make it more sensitive and could determine the mass of the neutrino. The helium and lead observatory, called HALO, is used to detect the large amount of neutrinos given off by a supernova. The neutrinos from supernovae reach Earth hours and sometimes days before the light does, giving astronomers a heads up that a supernova may soon be visible. HALO is one part of the supernova early warning system which links neutrino detectors around the world to astronomers. These experiments, among others, now reside in the newly expanded SNOW Lab. The research done here may well revolutionize our current understanding of physics and the fundamental way our universe works. As we learn more about the neutrino, more about fundamental physics, we're going to get an appreciation of our universe that we never had before, an appreciation of how nature works. Where that will lead, who knows? But it, based on the past revelations when we've learned these things, they've been dramatic. You can learn more about the research and experiments on the SNOW Lab website at www.snowlab.ca.